Morning, peeps. Tea time. Okay, today, this has been steeping for a minute. I haven't tried this one. It's a pretty pink. You can, probably can't tell, but I love the color. Can you see the tea bag? Okay, this is Tazo Passion, an exuberant herbal infusion of hibiscus, orange peel, rose hip, and passion fruit flowers. Sounds really yummy. So we are going to test it out. And I've had it steeping for a minute, so let's see what it tastes like. Whoa, it's hot. Oh, it's very orange. Did it say orange? Because it's very orange. Mm. Very orange. I like orange. The problem with it is it's strong, and so then you feel like you need sweetener to even it out. So I'll probably end up putting sweetener in it because that's strong. Very strong orange, but not bad. Just very strong orange. So um, I did try some other ones this week. This was from Day 22, Puka After Dinner Organic. Can you see the straight face? It was edible, but not yummy. I think I under, underlined fennel. Now, I like fennel in small doses, but it was very strong fennel. So, that one I got in the advent calendar. Um, this one is Celestial Organics Chamomile and Lavender. And if you can see it, there's a smiley face. I like chamomile tea, and I was leery about the lavender, but it doesn't jump out enough to where you're like, Bleh. so this one was good. I would get that again. The last one was Puka Relax, a deeply soothing infusion of chamomile, fennel, and marshmallow root. I have no idea what, this is from day 16. I have no idea what marshmallow root is, but this was good. The fennel was not too strong. If you can see the little smiley face, I would get this again. Fennel was not too strong. If fennel's really strong, it I don't like it when it's really strong, but I love just a hint of it. It's just yummy. I don't know what marshmallow root tastes like, but it was did not make it unfun. So that's the teas I've done this week. This one is good, but it's it's very strong orange. If you like very strong orange, do it. But I will have to add sweetener because um, I'm a wimp, okay. Took Zuko to the vet this week. That was pitiful. I don't like holding my dog when they give it shots. I want them to take him away where I can't tell it's my dog that's whining. It was awful. But I'm hoping it'll help take care of the fleas. Um, he had fleas when I got him. And it hasn't gotten better since I brought him home, even though I've been bathing him. I'm guessing maybe, even though Coco has a flea collar on and I put that stuff behind his head, he's probably still bringing him in, bringing him in and then dumping him on him. I don't know, because they play a lot. So, well, I say that. He runs and barks at Coco, and Coco just kind of pats him on the head. <laughs> it's amusing to watch. Okay, I was watching Morgan Griggs. She has a channel, and she did some questions. She said she got them from Grandma Bev. Um, her channel is Life with Grandma Bev. I'll put both their links down in the description, because I follow both of them, and um, they kind of amused me, so I decided to do those questions today. Um, what is your favorite type of music? When I first heard the question, I thought, didn't we just do this? But I don't, the rest of them, I don't remember doing, so we're going to do it anyway. Um, Christian is probably my favorite, but I either watch Christian or what is considered now the oldies. A lot of the 70s music I like. Um, so either one of those. I'm 
not really into the newest stuff. Uh, what's your favorite pizza topping? The truth is I'm not very good at pizza. Um, it usually gives me heartburn, so I kind of stay away from it. But if I eat it, it's usually a veggie. And my favorite thing that they put on it is banana peppers because it gives it just a little just a little zing or something. So I love banana peppers on there. What type of mask do you enjoy? If you've been following me at all, you know my favorite is a mud mask. I don't use them very much because I get a lot of sheet masks and I've been using those. But one of these days, I didn't do a Mask Monday this week. Couldn't get myself motivated, not even to video when I'm doing a mask. So then I have to use one of my masks because I don't want to show the ones that Peeps gave me without rec. Never mind, y'all. Me and my TMIs. Um, it's asking me what my favorite dessert is. Does it have sugar in it? It's my favorite. See, I'm all over the board because at Christmas time, a good fruit cake is to die for for me. Cellar cherries when I can find them. Um, pumpkin pie at Thanksgiving is just required. My brother's key lime pie. There's just so many of them that there's no way to pick. So if it has sugar, I pretty much like it. If you could live anywhere, where would you live? Um, I don't have a thing about where I live. It's more about who's there. If family is there, I would love it. I love being around family. Right now, I'm with two of my sisters and my brother, and I'm loving it. The only thing that would be better right this minute is my if my children were here or I was near them. That's the only thing that would make it better. So, I don't have a qualm about where I live. It's just how it is. Which five states do you want to visit? I don't know what is going on, but something is always bothering my nose. It isn't like congested or anything. It just wants to drip. It's just annoying. Sorry. Sorry, peeps. Sorry. Which five states do you want to visit? Well, I had this plan. Didn't work, but I wanted to get to all 50 states before I turned 50. Obviously didn't work because I'm missing five states. Um, I haven't been to Alaska Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, or Rhode Island. And if there, there may be another one up there. I'd have to stop and look at the map, but I know those are, she asked for five. Those are five I know that I have not been to that I would like to, at some point, get to. Um, we'll see if that ever happens. <laughs> um, probably Maine, New, Ham New Hampshire, Vermont, and Rhode Island is not such a big deal because I can drive there, but Alaska, you can drive there, but uh, I don't know. We'll see if it ever happens. I don't know. We'll see. Favorite way to eat bacon? I do not eat bacon. As you know, I'm non-carnivore. Now, there is a fakie bacon that my spousal unit gets, which I'm not overly fond of, but if he puts it, it makes BLTs, I can eat that. So, BLT for fakey bacon. What do you think? What is your favorite thing to eat at a buffet? Um, I'm a salad person all the way, so that's where I head first. And then I will get some vegetables off of the other side. And then the sugar. So that's what I eat when I go to buffets. Salad, vegetables, sugar. <laughs> uh, it's just... It's just how it is. My favorite vacation spot. Um, going to visit my kids is my vacation. That's what it's been since they don't live near me. That's what my vacation exists. And I love that. I love camping. So if it's like a weekender, camping is awesome. But visiting my kids is the best vacation there is. Favorite type of car when you were younger. I've never been a car person. I was trying to think of that. Um, my first car was a, oh snap. <laughs> what was it? 
I don't remember. It was a little sports car-y thing. And I was in a traffic jam in Atlanta, Georgia. And it was before they had put the route around. There's a, you know, there's a bypass now, so you don't have to go down through the middle of Atlanta anymore. You can go on the bypass. And I was in a traffic jam, and it had an aluminum motor, and it warped it. So that was the first car I had. It was a Fiat. Fiat. I knew it would come. Just slow coming. It was a Fiat. Um, and it was more because it was my spouse at the time loved that car. Um, I did at one point want to have a um, Mini Cooper because I love the movie. I have since ridden in one. I don't find them very comfortable. Um, a PT Cruiser I did want at one time. Again, I've ridden in them. I don't find them comfortable, so I got over that. Um, is asked, what's your dream car now? I don't, again, I don't have a dream car at all. If it runs, I'm happy. I don't care for... When my kids were little, I wanted a station wagon, and it was just not in my budget. When you have five kids, there's a lot of things not in your budget, and you just deal. But I wanted a station wagon. Well, we had some friends who had one of those seven-passenger station wagons, you know, where all of my kids could fit in there and seat belts, and this was before seat belts were required. You know, and then it had the seat in the way back that faced out. Well, they had hit a deer with it, and the insurance decided not to fix it and so they bought it from the insurance company because the insurance company totaled it well so it had a deer bite out of the front end of it and um, they sold it to me for a dime I mean it, I don't remember now but it was cheap they sold it to me basically for with the insurance company and I drove that until it died and I loved that car <laughs> because we all fit in it with no issues and before seat belts even existed, my kids had to be sitting down. That was the rule. If you're in the car, you better be on your tuchus. That's it. So I loved that car, but we called it our deer bike car because the grill was pretty much gone and we couldn't get another one. So we just drove it that way. I didn't care. I like a car that runs. That's about as exciting as I get where cars are concerned. Favorite Thanksgiving dish? Dessert? I don't care. I don't care what I eat the dessert has to be there some kind um, we've lately we've been having at Thanksgiving my brother's key lime pie which is to die for very good but I do also like um, pumpkin pie so either one of those are hunky dory for Thanksgiving favorite fast food restaurant it used to be Taco John's but there are no Taco John's here so it can't be it we did gravitate to Taco Bell and I'm boycotting them now because they quit making the stuff I like to eat. And we're now at Juicy's Taco. That's kind of, if I go out to fast food, that's pretty much where I go. Unless I'm going for breakfast. But yeah, Juicy's Taco. Okay. I'm getting a TMI. Sorry. What is the best french fry? I am always going to say McDonald's. I don't care what everybody says they're made out of. The McDonald's french fries have always been my favorite. It's the only thing I like at McDonald's, but french fries, yes. Favorite kind of cake? I think you'd be easier just to ask me which ones I don't like because it's sugar. I'm a sugar addict, a sugarholic, whatever you want to call it. If it's sweet, I pretty much like it. There's very little desserts that I don't like. Although I did make brownies one time for a guy who was... Um, we had a guy that came to eat with us for like, I think it was 4th of July, and he had celiac, so he couldn't eat anything, you know, that was sweet. And so I had made these brownies out of garbanzo beans. He thought they were wonderful. I, on the other hand, not so much. So I do have rules about how good it tastes. that was it favorite kind of fruity snack I don't I don't know what that means my favorite snack of fruit is tangerines I will I think they're calling them cuties or clementines or something now but whatever those are I like them that's my favorite anything fruity 
Just going to put that out there. Favorite Starbucks drinks? Well, I haven't been near a Starbucks to actually do Starbucks drinks for a long time. I was going to figure that out. It's been 15 years, maybe? Back in that day, caramel macchiatos were my favorite. And that was back when I was drinking coffee. So that I'm going to have to just say caramel macchiato because that was what I know from there. I don't know what's there anymore. Not one close to me. Last question. What type of coffee do you like? I don't know because I like the decaf my brother, Le Brother, makes in the morning. But he gets beans and he grinds them up. And he does. It's actually not coffee. It's... um what is that? A latte where it's frothy milk in there and he uses almond milk. He's so nice to me because he uses decaf beans and almond milk to make my latte. He tried one the other day because he ran out of regular milk and he didn't like the almond milk at all. <laughs> and I think it's wonderful. So there you have it. Um, if I find more questions, I'll do questions on these. If not, it'll be really short. Of course, it gets out of hand when I have questions because I have, what's that word? I'm verbally incontinent. <laughs> oh, sorry, TMI. That was it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.